Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're on another long straight stretch of I-29 in South Dakota beginning in Moody County at mile marker 110. At exit 114, South Dakota Highway 32 heads east to the city of Flandreau, the county seat of Moody County. It was named in honor of Charles Eugene Flandreau, a judge in the territory and state of Minnesota. Flandreau had an estimated population of 2,316 as of 2019. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when our new videos come out. And give us a thumbs up or hit the applause button if you enjoy our videos. Exit 121 leads to the cities of Nunda to the west and Ward to the east. We stopped here at the Ward rest area to use the facilities. In South Dakota there are three rest areas located off of exits like this, so they only need one facility to accommodate travelers in both directions. The fourth, near the North Dakota state line, only serves southbound traffic.
We enter Brookings County, the fifth most populous county in South Dakota, with an estimated 35,077 residents as of 2019. The county was founded on July 3rd of 1871 and was named for Wilmot Wood Brookings, a politician and pioneer of southeastern South Dakota. The county terrain consists of sloped flatlands marked by numerous lakes and ponds, especially in the western part. The area is largely devoted to agricultural use. Exit 127 leads to the towns of Elkton to the east and Sinai to the west. And yes, that is the correct pronunciation of Sinai. The name was given to it by Norwegian homesteaders who thought the area looked like the region around Mount Sinai in the Holy Land. But the pronunciation was garbled into Sinai. The town has an estimated population of 124. Elkton, on the other hand, is a city pronounced like it's spelled and named after Elkton, Maryland. Elkton has an estimated 726 residents. We enter the city limits of Brookings, the county seat of Brookings County. Brookings is the fourth largest city in South Dakota by population with an estimated 24,415 residents. The city is home to South Dakota State University, the largest institution of higher education in the state. Also found in Brookings are the South Dakota Art Museum, the Children's Museum of South Dakota, the annual Brookings Summer Arts Festival, and the headquarters of a number of manufacturing companies and agricultural operations. Brookings became the county seat when the railroad was constructed through the current city site in 1879. At exit 132, U.S. Highway 14 crosses and we see an I-29 business spur through town. And at exit 133, we'll see a U.S. 14 business route. We conclude today's video here at Mile Marker 138. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 Road Trip.